Hello everybody. So in this video I will show to you some really really interesting battery. So this battery is some lead acid type of battery. And like you know, some lead acid battery have the voltage of 2 volts. Some lead zinc battery have the voltage of 2.4 volts. And what I have here is some lead zinc battery. But this lead zinc battery have the voltage of 3 volts. Okay, now I will show you. Here I have my multimeter, which is set on volts. And this zinc lead battery have the voltage of 3 volts. So to get 3 volts on this lead zinc battery, I need to use some acid and alkaline based electrolyte. So on the positive side is some acid based electrolyte and on the negative side is some alkaline based electrolyte. So the entire construction of this battery is for the positive electrode I use some lead dioxide which I found in some lead acid battery. And for the positive electrolyte, I use some 4 mol of sulfuric acid and 1 to 2 moles potassium sulfate. And for the negative electrode, I simply use some zinc electrode. And the electrolyte for the negative side is some 6 mol of potassium hydroxide and 0.2 mol of zinc acetate. And now I will show you how I make this design. So you see that I use this sponge. Actually, I use this kind of sponge. So this sponge is some kitchen, kitchen sponge, something like this. And I use two of them. One sponge is soaked with six mol of potassium hydroxide and the another sponge is soaked with some four mol of sulfuric acid. Then I also use some lead dioxide electrode. On this lead dioxide electrode I put the sponge with the sulfuric acid. And then on the top on this sulfuric acid sponge I also put really, really gently some sponge with potassium hydroxide. And on the top I put some zinc for the negative electrode. And for the finish I charge this battery with 3.4 volts. So for me right now at this moment, uh, this is the only way that I can construct a battery which have the alkaline and the acid based electrolyte in that cell. So the positive sponge have the acid based electrolyte and the negative sponge have the alkaline based electrolyte. And in the middle, we'll create some salt bridge because of the reaction of alkaline and the acid. So to make this kind of battery a little bit more professional you can use some uh, special membranes like nephion or something like this. It's a little bit expensive but in the end you can also use some clay based separator. But if you want to try you can also make like this. This is really simple and really really fast. So by the way, this lead zinc dual electrolyte battery can be recharged, which is really, really interesting. Uh, so, two point nine four volts. Nice. 
really nice. And for the finish, I will replace this zinc electrode with some aluminium. Now I get LED aluminium dual electrolyte battery. And the voltage of this cell is 3.15 volts. Really interesting. But this kind of battery, this LED aluminium dual electrolyte battery is not rechargeable. If you use zinc, it can be rechargeable but with aluminium will not be rechargeable. So guys, like I said in the beginning of this video, this battery is really, really interesting to play with. But because you will use some strong alkaline and also some strong acid, can be really, really dangerous if you're not using some protection. So guys, that's it for now and we see us in the next video. Bye.